Okay, let's talk some more about fairy tales, because it was one of my favorite classes that I ever took. I hate princesses. I hate princess culture. It's not my thing. I'm I'm more a fan of the modern like self-rescuing princess thing. And Cinderella, in terms of all of the princesses that Disney has absorbed and bowdlerized and turned out, Cinderella is by far the most active, I think, um, of the classic princesses. Sleeping Beauty, though, and Snow White, just, oh, great on my soul. And part of it is really, first of all, Snow White is stupid, and Sleeping Beauty is a victim. Snow White is stupid because <laughs> she gets told many, many times, don't open the door to strangers. Someone's out there trying to kill you, and they have a lot of money and power. And she goes, <laughs> okay. And then the first time... She runs away and she, someone knocks on her door. She goes, I'm not supposed to open the door. And she's like, but I'm selling ribbons. And Snow White, Snow White is like, <laughs> okay. And she opens the door. And the old hag that's just in the middle of the forest in the middle of nowhere selling ribbons. It's like, come here, I'll lace you up. And she laces her up so tight that Snow White starts to suffocate. And she passes out. And the witch is like, the queen witch is like, ha ha ha, I suffocated her to death. Peace. This is a lesson to everyone. Always double tap. <laughs> I'm just saying zombie land's out there for a reason. Valuable life lessons. So the dwarves come home just in the nick of time, find her there, cut her bodice laces, which is a little racy, I think, for <laughs> ancient times, but sure, whatever. Um, and she breathes, the color comes back into her white, white alabaster cheeks, and She's alive. And they're like, seriously, what did we tell you? Don't, baby, don't open the door to people. We have to go to work tomorrow, too. Tomorrow, don't open the door to anyone. There's an evil woman out there who's trying to kill you. A lot. And she's like, <laughs> okay. Next day. Hi, I'm selling hair combs. Do you want one? <laughs> okay. Opens the door. At this point, she's, it's just Darwin Award time. This is, this is all that we can explain. So she goes, come here, let me comb out your hair. So she starts combing her hair and jams her in the scalp with a poison comb. Snow White falls down dead. Witch books. <laughs> Dwarves come home. Seriously? Seriously? Really? Fine. Fine. You know what? Fine. But as they're taking the comb out of her hair to like arrange her body, I assume, for burial, she wakes up. They're like, damn, you're lucky. Don't open the door for people. Really? We have to go to work tomorrow. Also, don't open the door for anyone. <laughs> I would never do that again. That's been bad like two times. Third day. Hi, I'm selling apples. Oh, I'm not supposed to open the door. That's okay. Just open the top half of the door. Oh, that's not like opening the whole door. Would you like an apple? Oh, I shouldn't take stuff from strangers. That hasn't worked out well before. That's okay. How about I cut this apple in half and I'll give you the shiny red part and I'll eat the shiny yellow part because apples come in two colors. <laughs> okay. We know the rest of the story, right? She takes a bite of the apple, falls down for seriously dead this time. In the real story though, the dwarves come home, they build her the, the jeweled casket that the prince can see through, put her on a hillside. The prince is riding along, sees her, doesn't kiss her because he's not actually into necrophilia, which I feel like is a bonus mark in his column compared to some of the other fairy tale princes, but decides to take the casket and body off of the hands of the dwarves and drag it behind his horse on the way to the castle lashes the casket to his horse, is dragging it to his castle, all proud, I got me a dead woman, something, and hits a bump in the road and the casket bounces and the piece of apple flies out of her mouth. That's how Snow White wakes up in most of the old stories. Um, she wakes up, he's like, oh, you're alive. That's like extra bonus better. I'm a fan of that too. Um, takes her to the castle, they make arrangements to get married, they send invitations to all the neighboring kingdoms, including the kingdom run by Snow White's beloved stepmother. <laughs> stepmother doesn't know who the 
bride is. She just knows what kingdom it's at, apparently. Goes, shows up, sees the new princesses, and is like, aw, damn. The guard sees her, clasp her into red iron, or into iron boots. The boots are heated up to red hot levels, and she's forced to dance in them before the newlywed couple, royal couple, until she falls down dead. The end, children's stories. <laughs> I should also point out fairy tales weren't actually children's stories when Grimm recorded them. They were house march and there are house stories that women were supposed to tell or like told to each other to kind of while away the housework hours. Um, these are completely different from kinder march and children's stories that are screwed up on an entirely different level. But that's another story for another time.